Hello everybody, we are giving you the 2020 Cork and Java Wine Gift Guide. We are going to be telling you the top five easy and most pleasing gifts to give to your significant other on Valentine's Day or any occasion, so stay tuned. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to CorkandJava.com. I'm Billy, and this is Bryn. And we all know you're supposed to enjoy even the most simplest things in life that most people take for granted, and that includes all of our favorite beverages. So we're here to expand and enrich your experience with all of your favorite beverages through wine and coffee review and how-to videos. And today, we are coming up with our 2020 wine gift guide super easy so if this channel sounds interesting to you and you're new here consider hitting that subscribe button down below so you're notified when our future videos come out but let's get to our top five easy wine gifts okay so this one is a no-brainer obviously yeah so if you're a significant other and it's a special occasion and they like wine give them a bottle give of them wine. some wine so that is our first thing and i picked a fancy one with a lot of foreign language <laughs> French on it. And if you watch our channel, you'll understand how to read French wine labels. So definitely hit that subscribe button so you can learn about the drinks that you're presenting and have a lot more fun with it. So yeah. So that's our first wine gift recommendation. What's mm -hmm. number two? This one is a fun find. I found this on Amazon and it's wine soap. That's right. <laughs> so you can lather up and smell like an alcoholic. <laughs> Just kidding. It actually smells a lot more grapey and candy. It's like yeah. it's very sweet kind of wine smelling. It does not smell like alcohol at all. So yeah. you don't have to worry about that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a really nice fruity. I wouldn't recommend this for most guys. This isn't like a an old spice kind of flavor. Masculine. It's not masculine. It's a very perfumey. But I mean, it's still pleasing though. So it's it smells. Not like... It smells like I could just eat this. Yeah, it it's... smells like candy to me. Yeah, but it's like um, grape candy. But yeah, it's you can use it in the shower or hand soap or whatever. I think it's like versatile. So it, it's just kind of a fun novelty thing. I probably um, use it as hand soap. Yeah. I don't know if I wash my whole body in fruit flavors. I kind of want to try it out and just see. Okay, you, know. you do you. I will. So yeah, this is from the Swag Brewery. <laughs> yeah, and we'll leave links Made down. in the USA. We'll leave links for all of these down in the description, except for this wine bottle. Probably won't leave a link for that. You go find something on your own. Use the Vivino app. And this is um, a vintage Merlot, in case you're wondering. There was another option too. I don't know if it was a Chardonnay or something else, but um, it is made with real wine. So there you go. So our number three 2020 easy gift for your wine loving lover is wine mad libs all right so are we gonna do this yeah let's do it all right so right we're gonna give you an example of uh here i'll i'll write and you oh okay yeah if you can come up with your your silly things to hear all right so. let's let's do this this okay. is wine mad libs okay i need a noun noun Merlot. Verb ending in ing. Swirling. Uh, noun. Decanter. Adjective. Musky. Okay. Uh, part of the body. Let's go with spine. Okay. Um, adjective. Flirtatious. Oh, I like it. Another adjective. Rowdy. Noun. Apples. Uh, plural noun. Hyenas. Adverb. Sensitively. Uh, part of the body. Clavicle. Uh, noun. Japan. Adjective. Smelly. Plural noun. Barrels. Type of event. Fourth of July. Wine and cheese party. And lastly, noun. Wizard. Okay, so. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> All, right. All right. Are you ready for our story? I'm ready. Okay. 
As any connoisseur will tell you, appreciating a Merlot of wine <laughs> is like swirling a fine work of art. First, okay. yes. First, you must hold up your glass to examine the color. Does the shade remind you of a decanter? Is the wine light or musky bodied? <laughs> Next, put your spine into the glass and sniff. <laughs> is the is the aroma flir flirtatious or is it more rowdy? You might detect a hint of apple. You might even smell hyenas. Ooh. Once you have done this, you should sensitively take a sip. Make sure you swish it around your clavicle before swallowing. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Japan you taste? Is the wine smelly or dry? Congratulations, now you can impress your barrels the next time you attend a 4th of July wine and cheese party. And don't forget to raise your glass and give the classic toast to your wizard. All right. So yeah, you can enjoy a lot of fun with these little Mad Libs. They're all wine related. All right, so that was number three. three. So yeah, what's number four? Decanter. That's right. Decanters are awesome wine gifts, not only because they're super cool to um, uh, put your wine in to let uh, breathe, they also make good makeshift <laughs> vases. So yeah, it's a two-in-one right there. Um, your lady gets a nice vase and then you can use it for wine later. Yeah, so check out our video that we've made about decanters. Uh, but yeah, go to our channel and check out our decanter video. If you're reading this from the blog, I'll link it in the blog description, so don't worry about that. So what's our final wine gift? A membership to the California Wine Club. That's right. It's the gift that keeps on giving the California Wine Club. It is, uh, we'll put a link in the description or on the blog for, right now they're running a 50% off sale, but if that runs out, we'll try to find you guys a, a, some kind of deal, a different discount deal. But really, they're an awesome, awesome subscription service. Mm -hmm. And they ship wine every month to you from California with an awesome uh, magazine. magazine. Yeah, describing all the wines you're getting and highlighting the different winemakers that put their hard work into the wine. So you're really learning a lot about wine and jumpstarting your wine experience, especially if you're new to wine. Uh, wine clubs are a great way to explore wine and the California Wine Club is a affordable way to do it. Mm -hmm. And I may have said this before, but if you're on the East Coast and you like supporting the mom and pop, like smaller establishments um, for wineries in particular, um, this is a great way to be able to try all the stuff on the other coast that is not available over here um, and do it for a, a really affordable price. All right, comment down below with what you think a great wine gift would be for that special someone. We'd like to know what you guys think. And if you do need something for Valentine's Day, make sure you check out the links that we have in the description so you can give one of these awesome things to your partner. All right, so as an added bonus, uh, we are going to send this uh, Mad Lib book, has a bunch of other ones you can fill out. Um, we are gonna send this to someone who is in our Facebook group and likes and shares the video of this um, gift guide, wine gift guide, um, the first week that we had this video posted. So make sure that you like and share the video from Facebook. Um, well, the to, blog post with the video embedded yeah. in it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, make sure you like and share that and we will select a winner um, one week after. It's posted. It's posted, yep. All right, so make sure you guys find us on all our social media. We're on Facebook, of course. Don't forget about the giveaway. Uh, Pinterest and Twitter. We're looking forward to seeing you guys online. So until next time, bottoms, bottoms up. up.